Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this video, we will understand how you can install a plugin. In previous videos, we understood what is theme, what is plugin, how you can install theme, how you can upload theme. Now it is the right time to understand how you can install a plugin. So in order to do that, there is an option in your WordPress dashboard, which says plugins. Just come on to this section and there are three options. First is install plugin. Second is add new and third is plugin file editor. This so now if you want to see the list of already installed plugin, you can directly click on this. So let's see how many plugins are already there. So you can see there are certain plugin. There are certain plugins available already installed. We can also delete them. But before that, let's understand how to install a new plugin. So either you can click on this button, which says add new, or there's the same button on top of that as well. Click on any of these. Once you clicked on add new, now there is a library of all the plugins which are available from WordPress. Now, obviously these are not developed by only WordPress. There are community developers who build these you know, uh, plugins. Now, whatever plugin you want to search, you can search is search here. Let's say I want to search for contact form seven, contact form seven. This is one of the plugin. You can search for any plugin and we will understand in upcoming videos how we can choose the right plugin. What are the advantages, disadvantages and everything. So right now you can say the contact form seven. This is a plugin right of uh, what is a plugin plugin is in a small piece of software or you can say code that is ready to use in order to perform a particular functionality to your wordpress website so right now it says already it is active so it means it is already installed and activated we can for example we can add uh, you know install any other plugin so like this one so if we want to install a plugin there are two steps first is install second is activate so click on this install button click on this install button and once it is installed or the installation process is completed then you need to click on the activate button so now as you can see this plugin is successfully installed now there is a button called activate we will just click on activate after clicking on activate this plugin is now ready to use and by default it may happen that it will redirect you to the settings page of that particular plugin so you can see the settings or the possible available options or if you don't want to see that you can just click on the back button and come back again to the installed one so plugin installed plugins and now that particular plugin which you just installed will be visible here so that is wp form light so these are the plugins which are available in my uh, dashboard